Latif Sendagire is the director of the Twekembe project here in Ndikuta Madda. Most of these people, they need what we call self-help. Uh, and uh, it's not easy to help one by one. That's why uh, it's easy to help like a group. How is their attitude? Are they, are, they, are they open to change, to development, to better lives? Making these people to come over and uh, arrange such uh, situations like getting good toilets, good water, it's also not, not, it's not, it's also not easy. We need proper toilets, we need proper water, safe water. How have you managed to do the work you do? Uh, we do give uh, lessons. Mm. Uh, we do motivate them, we give them hope, like fighting poverty. Uh, we, do them, we do teach them about the economic uh, development and uh, we tell them to make groups so that they can work together to overcome poverty. How long have you done it? A year? Mm. It's almost now two years. When so, I mean, what has been the improvement? Because, you know, when we came around on a random day, mm. you and I know what we saw. So. Mm. Has there been any improvement in how, in how life is down here? I don't know whether you saw the well we constructed for them. I did. Yeah, so those are the, some of the improvement that can show that at least on the side of sanitation, we never wanted them to use trench water that is dirty. What inspired you to, to even come here the first time you did? Because I was bypassing there a lot. And uh, you, see, you see me, I do a lot of search. Since God gave me this, I, I was like, uh, I want to help people, the poor people. Yes. Have you ever lived in a slum area before? Of course. Where? Of course. Uh, the slum I lived in, it was in Nakawa. Uh, that's you lived there uh, when you were a student? You know, when did you live there? Did you grow up there? I was staying with my parents. Uh, uh, they all both died. Uh, Where were you living? I was living in Makindi, of course. So one day, uh, I was watching a movie, I told you. Uh, it was all about slum area in Kasalan in uh, Kenya. And they were like bringing those futures for the people that live in the slum, the way they do struggle. After watching that movie, I realized that seems even the people we live together here in the slum could be facing the same problem, especially uh, sanitation, was very poor when I was watching that movie. And the same problem, we had also that problem of getting good water. Uh, the toilets uh, were not there. And the same problem we also had in Inakawa, we had no toilets. We could share one toilet, like 50 people. And um, very many things. After finding all the problems on the slum people, I brought in area and uh, I tried to communicate to different people, like LCs and the other youth who were by then interested. You've ever lived in a slum, Latif. How did you get out of that life? As a person, I worked so hard because it, wasn't, it was not a good uh, situation to be in. So I worked hard. However, I worked hard while thinking about where I'm jumping out of. So I was thinking a lot to, uh, to overcome such situation and also after jumping out of there how can I help the one that I've left behind because it may be a vision that is given by God and it, could, it couldn't be the same vision that God will give them. What has been the worst slum you've been to in Uganda? I'm telling you all slums of Uganda are very worse. Now if you can go to the one of uh, Nakawa is worse. When it rains, it becomes, it floods the toilets, what, whatever. If you go to Chileka, Chileka is even worse more than Nakawa. If you come to the one of Makinde, it, if it rains, it's good we have come here when it is during dry season. You managed to get yourself away from the slum area. Why didn't you want to identify with people, you know, people living better kinds of lifestyles, like, you know, people living in, in better places? Just I know how it pains as a person because I've ever been there. Uh, the way I struggled to grow up, uh, I found a lot of problems, uh, especially uh, living together in the slum area. There is a lot of uh, things that comes uh, and you feel you're not 
person. When you say that I live in Islam, they think you have no knowledge at all because of the situation uh, that you, you live in. Not every person that goes through such situation that has no use. They are productive citizens. They have knowledge. They can do prominent things for our country. And we should do love them. You can see these are the, some of the houses we have in the slum that is in the suburb of Makindye. As you can see this house, it's someone's house. But when it rains, it becomes worse. And the, since the foundation, it's like it's like yeah, it's, it's slipping down. So as because of this, the foundation was not so much hard. The, the concrete, however you put, however much you put stones, or cement or whatever, because of the, the land is too soft. So they come to stay here because of the, 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 the situation. So is that toilet in use? Yeah, the toilet is in use, of course, and the, the you can. Playing from there. That's the same. That's, that's the situation I was talking of. You yeah. see, uh, now like children, they don't care, and even the parents are less concerned. You find that that toilet is used by almost 50 around 50 people because of the space they do buy is very uh, pokey. They cannot have spaces for constructing. Uh, the how are the wastes taken out the, when the toilet is full? Now, uh, as you can see, it is constructed just the opposite the trench. So when it rains, they use that, they utilize that chance to open up the, the pipes. The pipe there is a pipe behind there. So when it rains, they remove the waste so that it goes by the rain. And that trench goes up to the lake. So you find that even the lakes are suffering the environment. The, the lake, the environment is <laughs> yes. The, the yes. Now, one day I got a complaint about this part, this person. They urinate there, they defecate, and after they remove, they remove the blockage and it goes to this. So I don't know whether he stopped or not, but he is a bit groomy. He's a big headed. <laughs> so, but that's the slum <laughs> situation. Mm. So uh, when it rains, the trench floods and the water comes around this homestead and you find that all people living in this place, when it floods, they cannot even get out of the house. They just stay in there so until... So it takes two days to dry out, they don't come I'm telling you, not even, not even two days. It can even go beyond five to five days because of uh, muddy water. Don't they don't come out. Tell or if they the come out, they just... Yeah, yeah, they play. Rubbish. Yeah, you can see because it is dry season, but when it rains, you find a lot of rubbish, uh, feces, what and what. So you find a lot of problems actually. And so they, they don't come out uh, even for a week. They can stay there until it gets dry. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's when they are able to walk. That's when they are able to walk and maybe go to get food or what. So that's one of the problems they are facing so where is around this here. Heap of rubbish coming from? It comes from the trench it's because not just one, there are a number of them. yeah, there are a number of heaps because where they remove that heap of uh, sand, whatever rubbish, polythene bags because they want that water to flow and go to the lake because if you remove it there, it will flood. Oh, it will even come on the top and maybe disappear. The trench can disappear. So they try to remove that so that so the water can the yeah, clearly go away. Then when it rains, then flooding all over this homestead. So what and is you, that? Is that a toilet? Yeah, actually those are toilets or bathrooms of their <laughs> of these neighbors. So that kind of the situation they live in. One of the projects started by the Twekemba Group is this shoemaking factory. We spoke to Scovia, the leader of the factory. Mama Jeva Leko. Omwana Ariatia. Bambi, Ajakuba Blonji. I got to Bodi Deko. Every singer to a little bit get Deko, Nay, Abachala, Abba singer, Ababeda, Wanuba Javatia.
Bobo tafu wali wewe mili mo mochi tondo chino. Namba. Bobo tafu wali wewe mili mo gaba ntoa senga teva ina mili mo. Kati kwa mwa tuwa la mutia ukufuna njizibu kutandi kukubwa ya mba kubeda kubwa kubwa ya mba Uchi wakela kumachano utambula Uchi wakela kumachano utambula Uchi wakela kumachano utambula Kuga mwa chijawe ichu What inspired you kutandi kukubwa ya mba Uchi wakela kumachano utambula Kugamba mama sangu ba mukolachi. Ni yangu tembe la mchitondo chini. Etwa galu kutubuli anti fetwa sangu watu kula wetu ni wetu ti. Akati ya bashi alaba ne tu ne tu begata kwa ngatu laba waliwe chini na chini. Chitu buli dako mungeli yomkwan. Kati muko za saba ntungaba mekamu factory ena? Factory ya wakukuka. Kati baba kwa wakata wakukuka. Ata abachala? Abachala waluko mtitiko. Bani ina chukumi. Iba yambia yetia, yambia tia chukumi. Yambia chukumi wa nsonga. Ati abayo bata ina milimi. Abate nsokoli. Senga jana luka katitika. Na akateka kwa nyamani. Aba soko. Akatitika mwa kalukida banga chi. Aba kalusi. Mungu kalusi. Akatitika mwa. Mungu Neri lukumi. Neri lukumi. Sekia tanu zi mtuwa. Epea zo tanu zi gwe mtuwa. Lukumi lukumi. Aa, aa. Kano kakata na kano. Buna wambi lukumi. Eee, wambi. Nero wofu nye. Nicheke zanti ya kamuka vita. Eee, kamuka vita. Eee, kamuka vita. Aba ntumu chitondo china basi nga kwenye giri zi wambati ya nadala abachala. Mkati abachala. Embera yobro debu wafu wabakuru. Ibadde imidi date ya mchifuachi. Abantu beku ma chenge zinbe raza beku ma ba beda mubula mubo vuna nzibo. Chogiri. Mwenga apulida abacha alabano. Kale, abasinga kugamba badjanga baba wasiza. Badjanga bafude musomero. Abasinga jimfude wa wafana na atia. Mwenga abacha alabano. Mwenga abacha alabano. Mwenga abacha alabano. Mwenga abacha alabano.
Okubango bade mchifochino, kuwa siwa wali obeda na ujia. Nusobolo kusinka na bantuma na benja ulo, abachara, abachi. Chukwa dacha kuiga shi mbulamu. I don't know what we are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are the craft shoes and beads for a living. Life is hard just like you've seen, but they're struggling to make ends meet. Omchala go to Voko get an ever seven never nyabo yumchala nansu gamastula, a kudiba chala ba nobo naba kola, obuti no bugatovno, but one day se craft shoes muzungu, e daba singam town near with one bala. Abachala ba no even sivia and win yo. Gabo to la bien anga bagaza kokulaba and gababao, e damazima. Bambi, ba ina kwa iba tu se kale guali yeyo ngo ina wodi ina chokola ina wovera na ingo chevuma tunoli davantu mano uwe kwe mutochi ola ge ola biki ngo tani koksima mukame chochaba kuade tugenda kwa yongera yoko katikomeo.